test the convergence of the series whose nth term is this. So when I look up at this series, I have square root of n power 4 plus 1 minus square root of n power 4 minus 1. So this is the nth term, I am considering it as un. So I need to simplify this. So when I need to simplify this, I have to multiply this by the conjugate. I am going to multiply both numerator and denominator by the conjugate. So the conjugate of this is, I have the denominator as 1. So here it is, square root of n power 4 plus 1 plus square root of n power 4 minus 1. By this same I am going to multiply with the numerator. So it is square root of n power 4 plus 1 plus square root of n power 4 minus 1. Now this is of the form a minus b into a plus b. So when I go for finding a minus b plus a plus b, it is a square minus b square. So when I simplify, I will get it is square root of n power 4 plus 1 the whole square minus square root of n power 4 minus 1 the whole square by this denominator that is square root of n power 4 plus 1 plus square root of n power 4 minus 1. So when I take the squares and simplify, I'll, uh, square root will be removed, n power 4 will get cancelled and I will get 1 minus of minus 1. So my 1 minus of minus 1 is 2. So it is 2 by this denominator square root of n power 4 plus 1 plus square root of n power 4 minus 1. So this is my un. Now I am going to take this n power 4 commonly outside from this. When I take n power 4 commonly outside, I will get square root of n power 4 into 1 plus 1 by n power 4. Then plus square root of n power 4, 1 minus 1 by n power 4. So now I am going to take this from square root. So when I take this from square root, I will get n square into square root of 1 plus 1 by n power 4. Again plus it is n square into square root of 1 minus 1 by n power 4. So now I am going to take this square n square commonly outside. So I will get 2 by n square into 1 by square root of 1 plus 1 by n power 4 plus square root of 1 minus 1 by n power 4. So now I consider my vn as 1 by n square. So I have my un as this. I have my vn as this. Now I go for comparison test. Finding limit of n tends to infinity of u n by vn. So when I go for finding this limit of n tending to infinity of un by vn. After cancelling n square, limit of n tending to infinity of un by vn is equal to this. So when I substitute and simplify, I will be getting 2 by this will become 0 when it is infinity and here it is 0. So it is square root of 1 plus 1, it is 1 plus 1. So this is equal to 2 by 2 which is equal to 1. Finite and non-zero. So when this is finite and non-zero, I should check out whether it is converse or diverge by P series test. So now I go for my P series test. My summation n tending to 1 to infinity of vn. This is equal to summation n tending to 1 to infinity of 1 by n square which is my vn. So when I look after here, when I check out this with this and find the value of p, my p is 2. So here I will have my p is equal to 2 which is quite greater than 1. So when I say that this is greater than 1, it is convergent. So my summation Vn, n tending to 1 to, 1 to infinity is convergent. So when this is convergent, it implies that since this converge or diverge together, it implies that summation U and n tending to 1 to infinity yeah, is 
convergent.